With his amiable temperament, wagging tail, and rough water-resistant coat, the Otterhound, for many people, is the perfect example of a lovable companion. His basic role, however, is that of a pack hound, a persistent, tireless hunter on land or in water. He enjoys a reputation as a superb worker. Dogs very much resembling otter hounds are described as early as the 12th century. But the breed's golden age came in the last half of the 19th century, when packs of otter hounds could be seen all over Britain during the summer months in pursuit of their quarry. Prized for its hunting skills, the otter hound was slow to reach the show ring. The breed was accepted for American Kennel Club registration in 1910. The breed was accepted for American competition around the turn of the century, but had been shown regularly only since the 1940s. The first American Kennel Club champion was recorded in 1941. You'll be seeing many otter hounds during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so. But all are representative and will help your understanding of the breed when you judge it. Now let's begin. In general appearance, the otter hound is a large, strong-limbed, rough-coated hound with an imposing head, showing great strength and dignity. Its double coat is water-resistant. The breed's large webbed feet and long striding action make it ideally suited for hunting on land or water. It has an extremely sensitive nose and is inquisitive and persevering in investigating scents. Dogs will range from 24 to 27 inches at the withers, while bitches will be 23 to 26 inches. As for weight, Dogs are from 75 to 115 pounds. Bitches, from 65 to 100 pounds. Remember that hounds in the field of the same height may weigh more than a dog of the same height used only for exhibition. Never penalize a dog for being in hard working condition, which is characterized by a lean, well-muscled body lacking long fringes of coat. The otter hound is slightly longer than he is tall and has good substance without being coarse. Balance, soundness, and type are of greater importance than size. 